Hi guys, it's a bit windy today, so I'll be shooting this video from indoors. Um, what I have here is something you've been asking me, a few of you have been asking me for quite a while now. And it's the Patton 83 battle jacket or assault vest, along with the chest rig, as you can see here. First I'll be doing just the battle jacket, going over what it consists of, and then I'll be doing the, the chest rig. Um, just a little bit of history, this battle jacket is still in use by the SANDF today. It was adopted in 83 to replace the outdated pattern 70 kidney pouches. Um, there are numerous variations of this all around the world. You have a company called Viper which makes replicas of this now in all sorts of camo, including ACU, Marpat, um, Flecton of the German Bundeswehr. So a lot of the special forces as well use this concept and adapted it to their specific needs. Um, like free tube battalion, um, which I have a, a salt vest from as well, which I'll be doing a video on later. Um, so this is regarded as one of the best assault vests of its time and still used today. Um, it was was way ahead of its time when it, when it was adopted in 83 and um, yeah, the fact that it's still in use today just shows you what what quality kit it was and um, I have heard of PMC's in Iraq who still use these, who, who buy them out of who buy them for themselves and prefer it above the some of the mold gear you have so yeah, let's go over what it consists of at the back you have two large pouches. It's divided in the middle with a zip and it opens at the top with a zip as well. The top pouch has this velcro flap with a square hole cut into it so it can be used as a mag drop pouch. Um, I have heard of guys who remove the middle, put a three ounce camel back in here and then just take the hose out at the top. Then there's no need for water bottles. Um, on them you have these loops which you can tie anything on and at the bottom you have two straps for a ground sheet um, so they were typically used to put in extra LMG ammo or your mess kit at the bottom um, more rations, the MRE will fit in there perfectly um, even two maybe there's a just here at the sides the bo bottom one you have four adjustable straps on each side which um, you can adjust it to fit your waist. Then on the sides, so the sides are identical, you have these large, this large pouch here, which just closes with a flap and two tie-down straps. But it at the top it also has that Velcro square notch. So it can be used as a mag drop pouch. At the front of it you have a mag pouch divided in the middle. Not sure if you can see this, but it's divided in the middle to take two mags and a long piece of velcro making it versatile to fit any number of different rifle types from AK to G3 or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I just have the one mag pouch at the front of this and the other side is exactly the same. Then moving to the front, on your right hand side you have, an, you have two grenade pouches and they're not divided in the middle but they are able to take mags as well two mags grenade pouch and another divided mag pouch um, on the shoulder strap you have two straps here to tie anything down from your rifle so it acts as a single point sling to um, anything else you might need you have these rubber bands to attach your radio um, these straps are adjustable you have velcro on the inside and you, they just move up and down like so so you can adjust the length on the other side, now this is where it differs a bit from the right hand side in the front they have a small pouch which I um, see has been used as a medic pouch um, but you can put anything in there possible it's just a small pouch you can maybe see the size there um, on the top you have another mag pouch and the grenade pouch at the back of the medic pouch there's a velcro there that acts as a map pouch and it goes in quite deep there um, 
<coughs> lock and load one of my subscribers has bought one of these from me and then he did a great video on it with his AK I think so you can see how it looks like with all the mags and stuff here and then at the top of your left hand side you just have the same straps and the rubber bands um, and all these little loops all around it so you can tie stuff tie stuff off um, I forgot to mention at the back at the top you have three straps on each side and you can on which you can tie a rifle or sleeping bag I don't know what anything you would have wanted to tie down I've seen guys putting their jackets there and these sides side flap the large pouches they are made to carry the two liter water bottle well, I've seen guys tuck clothing in there and anything of that sort and guys leaving the left one um, empty to act as a mag drop pouch so it's very versatile in that it has the top flaps which you can use as a mag drop pouch in all it takes um, 8 mags when you use the 2 smoke grenade pouches it takes 12 and 2 grenades um, and then these, these are unfortunately suit, sewn on so you can't take it off and carry a backpack over it so this was used only on operations on the inside you can see it's, uh, it's thickly padded covered in this strong mesh type material very strong sits very comfortably thick shoulder pads to carry the weight and it closes with these plastic clips like so uh, which are also adjustable you can see it's in a neutral brown color and made of a very strong cordial nylon um, very very strong piece of kit you, if, if you can feel it you'll feel the stitching is done perfectly it's um, in my opinion nearly nearly impossible to break so this one was made by a company called Texcraft um, I know they've also been made by Specifico from Botswana, one of the old homelands um, so it's very very strong <coughs> like I said there are variations of this in different types of camo um, available out there what the quality is I actually am not sure so, so one of my subscribers asked me exactly what goes in where um, like I said you put the mags in the divided pouches on the sides and on the front grenade pouches this you would have acted as a medic pouch the back the Valkyrie have your uh, map pouch on the sides you would have put in a 2 liter water bottle um, in, or a 1 liter one leaving the one open for mags or they would have tucked in a jacket in there um, at the back mess tins at the bottom with rations and at the top spare ammo so that's about that for what you can carry in this now if you move on to the chest rig it's a quite simple setup there are about two variations of this <coughs> the other having four mag pouches in the front instead of three and only two grenade pouches on the side what this one has there's three mag pouches in front which are divided same as the as the salt vest and so you can have six mags a radio pouch on your right hand side grenade pouch on this side and a very small pouch at the top which I'm actually not sure what, with what it would have been used it looks like me the size of a compass so maybe if you had a compass there and then at the back you have a large map pouch um, typically the commanders one would have differed from normal infantrymen hence maybe the need of a compass it goes around your back clips behind your back with these plastic buckles and then you have these thick pads um, which just go over your shoulders but a lot of guys would crisscross them at the back so they would like I have done here tie them on like so so it crosses your back so it doesn't move around or the strap doesn't fall off your shoulders um, this could have been used with a backpack so you have this on with a backpack and just drop the backpack once you hit contact the assault vest you can't use with a backpack um, it's made of the same cordura material in neutral brown same mesh padding on the sides um, and yeah so, so it's quite simple really like I said there's a variation we have four mags in the middle and a grenade pouch on each side um, that's the most common one so yeah sorry for the cut my camera just ran out of recording time um, I would just like to thank you guys 
for all the comments and um, the, all the positive comments you leave on my channel and on my videos. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the support. And I know a lot of you have been waiting quite some time for these two items to be reviewed. And I hope you are satisfied. If you have any more questions, um, please leave them below. And just keep watching. Thanks.